Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com. And on this wonderful, lovely Valentine's Day, I am joining some ladies for a Love is in the Air YouTube hop. And I will also be using a sketch from Scrapping Reflections. And she's doing a sketch a day in February. Here is a look at the sketch for February 14th. And I am going to be using Perfect Match from Close to My Heart. Now, I do have a paper pack that's already kind of been cut up. So I'm going to try to use the stickers that are left as well as some of these scraps from that pattern paper and cardstock. So right off the bat, I know that I want to use that watercolor heart. And then I want my background to be black. So in order to save cardstock, um, not like I don't have enough, but I always like to cut a square in the middle that's not going to show. Now that heart pattern, I did cut down three quarters of an inch from two of the sides. And then I think it needs just a little bit of backing. So I'm pulling out some candy apple cardstock. I'm going to do the same and cut a square out of the center that will not show. And I did cut this piece of cardstock down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I'm going to start pulling out the scraps and try to decide what I want to use. Now from this paper packet, I do have um, some stickers that are already on foam sheets, some circles, stuff like that. And then I do have some photos that are already printed. Now I'm going to glue down these background pieces this for the base page. Pretty much that is going to stay as is, so it won't hurt to go ahead and adhere it down. Since I cut the very center of those card stocks out, I didn't have to really worry about where my adhesive was going to go because there was no danger that it was going to go where there wasn't card stock, if that makes sense. So for this XOXO pattern paper, I just kind of uh, eyeballed it from the sketch and I'm gonna glue it down. Now the bottom edge is going to go flush with the heart pattern paper. And then I've got two photos, um, one of me and my husband and then one of our dinner of Valentine's 2019 and I've decided to use those. Now the sketch does call for four three by four photos but um, that picture of my husband is a I mean me and my husband's a four by six and so I decided to do that instead of two separate photos. So from the sticker sheet I love this love and then there are some other little stickers that I'm going to go ahead and take the sticky off using my anti-static pouch. And that way it's going to be easy just to kind of lay them out on my layout without them actually sticking to the layout until I'm ready. Now, you did see me cut that notebook pattern paper. That's where I will do my journaling and that will go in the bottom left. I decide that it also needs a mat. So I'm going to tape it to some more candy apple cardstock. Now this is the center that I cut out. So I'm still only working with a 12 by 12. I thought I might want to do it Polaroid style. So I left a bunch of cardstock down at the bottom underneath that notebook paper, but then I just decide to go ahead and trim it off. So I'm also thinking the love needs some backing and I think I'm gonna back it with black cardstock. Again, this is the center of that base page that I cut out. So I'm just gonna adhere this down and then start fussy cutting it out using my micro tip scissors. So right here I have my non stick micro tip scissors and the blade is black and I just, I really can't see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna to switch to my regular micro tip where the blade is silver and it makes it a little bit easier. So when I fussy cut, I like to leave just a tiny border around the edge, much like you see that white border around the love. I just think it makes it look like um, it was intentional and that it was a sticker. It's also a lot more forgiving if you mess up. So I'm going to start gluing down these pieces. Now, most of these are from the sticker sheet. Now for my title up at the top, Per the sketch, I'm going to use those sentiment stickers that say Happy Valentine's Day. I am going to use 3D foam tape for the Valentine sentiment though. And stick that just right there. And you notice that they're not really centered. I'm really liking the kind of skewed look. And then now I'm just trying to decide what I want to do next. Overall, this layout did come together pretty quick. And so from this point, you're going to see it just really takes off. 
So for the love, I'm going to add some 3D foam tape and I'm gonna show you a trick here in just a second. Now you want to make sure that you have a lot of foam tape behind that so there's no dips, but I really have a fast and easy trick instead of peeling all of those off that will be revealed here in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down these stickers. The circle says falling for you and the heart says you have my heart. And then now this is where I am going to peel these off. Now there's no need to peel every single one off. So you're only gonna peel off usually corners and sides. And then I definitely want something behind that love sticker. So I've pulled out a stamp set called Can't Get Enough and it has this watercolor blob look and I've pulled out some candy apple ink. Now this is a brand new stamp set, so I wanna slide in that foam insert that it comes with to make sure I get a real crisp image. I'm just gonna stamp this just a few more times, but I'm really liking the look. Now I could have pulled out my ink, so I'm ready to stress oxides, but sometimes a stamp set is the best. So I'm done with that, and then I am going to add just um, a little bit around that journaling spot, and that one says together forever, and then there's another one that says loving you. Now I did try to find another red sentiment that I could put up at the top, but it just didn't, um, there wasn't one. So I am going to take my candy apple shimmer brush and add some shimmer to some of those hearts. I'll show you a close up here in just a second. I love our shimmer brushes because it just gives that extra little bling to it and they're really easy to use. So can you see the shimmer on the, the hearts? You could have done all the red hearts, but I just decided to do a couple at the top and then the left and the right. So here are some still shots of this layout. Now remember this is part of the YouTube hop. And then I did use a sketch for the daily sketch for February 2021. I will leave all the links down below to the products that I used as well as all the girls that are playing along with the Love is in the Air YouTube hop. You'll definitely wanna go check out their videos and subscribe to them if you haven't had a chance. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe and sign up for notifications.